This is Twit. I didn't, I haven't yet got my case uh, because, you know, they're making it or something. But I have my old iPhone 12 case. Wow, look at that. It fits right in there. No problem. No problem. So I'm using the old case except little Covers problem. Covers the camera a little. <laughs> a little yeah. problem. It's just a little bit. Not too bad. I don't yeah. know what lens that one is. It's got a little edge. You only see Get it in the ultra wide. Get some scissors. Yeah, out. you know I mean? Just, just cut that out there. Just got a little. Well, exacto knife. Exacto knife. But, but the main, bo the body fits in. So it's exactly yeah. the same dimensions. And, and even the, I mean, it's not a perfect fit for the on-off buttons, but it's close enough. I can do it. So, uh, just a little little tip for you. You know, the 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 silencer switch is just a little. Apple did not really redesign this. Now it's very interesting because I fix it says there was a big redesign in the iPhone 14, not the Pro, but the they have upgraded now at I fix it the repairability of the iPhone 14 to seven out of ten, which is the highest an mm -hmm. iPhone's been in years and years and years. Yeah. They were really excited about like, replacing the back glass. Uh, now uh, it's rest, it required a much, much stronger adhesive uh, before, so a lot more finicky to get rid of it. Now they say that much, much uh, weaker adhesive, so it's easier to, to get at, plus just f fewer clips. Essentially, this it's a common repair is now they des designate it as much, much, much easier to perform on when they were on very previous phones, including the iPhone 14 Pro. You have to get at stuff from the front you you open up the yeah. front and you dig down that makes it easy to replace the screen easier to replace the screen harder to replace everything else now it's a they, i fix it says this is the iphone 14 reborn is a beautiful butterfly mm. <laughs> the mid frame is in the don't middle say, don't say butterfly don't say butterfly with <laughs> Apple Harbor, please you, you, i'm still you recovering got ptsd from the accessible screen on the left removable rear glass on the right so that's kind of cool so you can get in from both sides which makes it much easier uh, to repair it, yeah. they gave apple big props for this they said this was not easy to do they worked really hard on this i feel like apple has been there's this general trend and it includes their new repair program but i feel like that behind the scenes apple has been making their stuff slowly but surely more repairable and yeah. part of that is that it's a more mature category and i think that they feel like they've got the room now to do some of this when before they were, were trying to cram everything in and glue everything together in order to it to fit but i think also it's a financial calculation because you know if an iphone in certain circumstances if an iphone breaks under warranty right like apple has to make those repairs <laughs> and it's hard nobody nobody repairs more apple devices than apple itself right and so on one level i do think that that somebody maybe came in and said we're spending a lot of money on repairs can you make it more repairable <laughs> and 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 i i know it's only in the in the 14 right now but this is a i suspect we're going to see more of this in future iphone models as well like that they want to make the individual pieces a lot more accessible because not just to make i fix it happy right but but bottom line stuff that it, it saves apple time and or money to do their own repairs um of of their products under warranty Highest uh, repairability score since the iPhone yeah. 7, according to iFixit. Now, they did point out it looks like you will have to do so software activation of some parts, which is, you know, kind of like the John Deere thing. And, yeah. And that's, Too bad. that's not so nice. Um, that's kind of unclear, and it may even be possible to do that, you know, as a third party. So, um, Good, well, good I have no on doubt Apple. you're going to be able to order your own back as part of the iPhone repair program sure. at some point here in the next few months. <laughs> your sure. own glass back. And, and it, not only will it be a lot cheaper because you'll only be replacing a much cheaper part, but it'll be a lot easier because you unscrew some screws and and you can pull it off and replace it. So in the end, yeah. even if you don't, if you want to repair it yourself, you're going to be able to do it and it'll be much cheaper and less harrowing. Breathtakingly expensive to replace the back on an iPhone 14 Pro <laughs> yes. Max yeah. it, or a 13. Uh, it's like, what? Because <laughs> they have to take the whole, they have to go from the top down. Essentially disassemble the entire phone in order to fix the uh, back. That's not going to be true on the 14 nothing and and i presume at some point on all uh, iphones one thing though they also learned the uh losing the sim tray doesn't save any space they have, still have a place for it <laughs> it <laughs> Which, can't because it's yeah. it's not lost on any other model right. worldwide right this is more of a 
I don't know, a test in the U.S. That's what in I order think. to do this. Yeah. And, and But, like, they, they talk about, well, you could put an SD slot in there, and I guess you could, but, like, what, <laughs> no. what's really going to happen is the next version is not going to have it anywhere in the world, and they're going to have, they're going to use that space, right? That's the long-term effect here, but they're not going to design, like, a whole other feature that takes up a whole other set of space inside this thing, but only on the U.S. models. They just omit it from the U.S. models. Yeah, and I think that it's probably safe to say that the iPhone 14 is also a test. Like, well, let's see how this works because they're not using as much glue. Let's see if it if it if there's reliability issues or if anything doesn't work. And then it would make sense. Yeah, this is part of a. Apple's always doing that long game thing, where yeah. they're gradually uh, and, changing and, and realize and realize that the first first uh, the, the the first uh, wave of people who get these phones they are going to be watched very very closely by uh, by uh, Apple engineers uh, there's there's usually a, a, a sort of a hunting license that there that's uh, given out from uh, Cupertino to uh, Apple Genius Bar saying we 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 would like to give you we, we, here are some here are some shipping containers we want to see five examples of of iPhone 14s that failed because of water ingress we want to see three examples of a crack back screen we want to see eight examples of a back whatever whatever and those are the times where you cut you can come in saying hi i'm such an idiot i can't believe that it slipped out of my pocket it bounced out of my car i managed to get on the third bounce but the screen is is, is all cracked it's my responsibility i did it and then you find out that oh no problem we will we will replace it for you for free because we're awesome and because we try to take care of your phone and also because again because this is a brand new product they want to see they want to get some of the stuff back and see how did it break why did it break and how can they prevent things from breaking in the future